Welcome to TYT Sports, everybody. Jason Rubin here, back in the studio. It was cold on the East Coast. Jeez, it's better in L.A., although it's still freezing in L.A. We got Dan on the uh, studio mic over there. And uh, first story we're going to talk about today, Patrick Coletta of the Buffalo Sabres. We don't talk about too much NHL here. Uh, we definitely got to bring in Michael Shore as we get closer to the playoffs. But Patrick Coletta of the Buffalo Sabres got into a hockey fight. Happens all the time in the NHL. I'm a huge supporter of fighting in the NHL. I think it's uh, definitely one of the things that boosts the entertainment value of the sport. Uh, was going up against Ottawa Senators defenseman Jared Cohen, Cowan, Jared Cowan, uh, and take a look at why this fight was more unique than other NHL hockey fights. Maybe you could take a lesson from UFC 182 and John Bones Jones uh, in some fighting, uh, but here was what <laughs> Coletta had to say. He goes, from the looks of it, when he switched up, I was looking to block myself so I didn't get hit in the face. So it, it wasn't an intentional him punching himself in the face to, you know, help his opponent win the fight. Uh, so even though it looks like I did, I don't really think I did. Look, it was the heat of the moment. Things happen when you get into fights, whether it be hockey, maybe a bar fight, when fights break out in all sporting events. I don't remember seeing too many players punching themselves in the face or the side of the head during many hockey fights. But, uh... I know Dead, uh, Next Impulse Sports uh, found this Vine slash video, and uh, they also made sure to mention that the Sabres and the Senators are the two worst teams in the Atlantic uh, Division of the Eastern Conference in hockey. So at least the, uh, for fans of the Sabres and the Senators, they got something to cheer for during that game. Uh, Dan, do you have anything uh, to add in on, the, um, on punching yourself in the head to win a fight? I mean, what can you really say? <laughs> I think it pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah. Uh, well... When it comes to the NHL, we'll definitely bring Michael Shore, maybe uh, uh, Chanel Berlin also in to talk some more actual hockey news as we go into the new year. But until then, thanks for watching and subscribe to TYT Sports.